Midcock Junior B hurling final underway replay between Inniscala and Dahabullen. And straight away there is a three out to Inniscala back at the edge of the league. Yeah, I see the first change of the game really for Ahabolo Dean Barry Murphy is coming to the side. He was starting goals in the last game, so he's out into the play now this time he's playing in forward. First return to competitive action for Ian um, since last year. As Google number 25 there, uh, put, uh, Joseph Henry puts the ball over the bar, first score of the game in the scale of one point, Ahabolo no score. Harry Bradley now the puck out goes long, looking for Ian Barry Murphy here. One by Scala number nine, Sean McLaughlin, blocked down, only gets the ball as far as Alan Hogan. Back to Oren O'Connell, puts the ball in on top of Aidan Healy inside. Two in the Scala men around him. Aidan still fighting for it, and the Scala man comes over with it, he looks to be fouled. He's not. Polly Tooney gets the ball, has it up in his stick, sends it out to Ian Barry Murphy. Ian Barry Murphy being tackled. Wins the free in for Avalon. Good work there from Paddy Toomey inside, won the ball. I think Mark Flynn was just uh, pushed off the ball, but Paddy came in to help and uh, picked up the ball. Found Ian Barry Murphy. Touch was a bit rusty, but got it up in the end and was fouled. First three should make it uh, one point each. Avalon uh, had to put it over the bar. So Mark Flynn here. First shot of goal in the game. Puts it high, makes no mistake, straight over the bar, it's one point each with just about two minutes gone in the game. Puck out coming long to this side of the pitch here. Pulled on it there by Jack Murphy, just up along the line. He's got a man in favour for it, or not Canada doesn't want to let him get it. Pulled out of it there. Worked up to number 20, stolen by Jack Murphy here. He's on the opposition, 65, puts the ball across to James Lane. Beautiful take by James Lane. Running straight in on goal. James is looking for goal, puts the ball across the square. Cut out by the Inescara fullback. Number three there, Kevin Burke, who drives it long. Down as far as David Thompson here. David Thompson, loose pass. Won by Michael Burke, gives the ball inside. To number 28, there is Daniel Murphy, Killian Barry Murphy underneath it as well, with him trying to get it out. Niall Buckley out there, number 12 is John Casey out on the sideline. Brings the ball in across the square. David Thompson wins it inside the there. Looks to be fouled as he comes out with the ball and it's a free out jab on it. Dangerous ball there isn't John Casey. Dangerous ball there but David Thompson in fairness and did very well back from injury recently enough as well. Played in the football game a few weeks ago. Came back on so Lawson played centre back in the in the drawing game and did very well there as well. David a great great hurler as well as a footballer. But uh, did well there to, to clean that up. But a good start from both sides, both and both teams have settled. Both teams have scored on the board three minutes in, so it's um it's a good a good start and this is gonna be a feisty one. Looks like it. Looks like it. There seems to be nothing left there as Ty Bradley comes to take the free. Now just at the edge of his own square. Again drives it long. Lands it in here looking for Paddy to me. Paddy pulls on it. Breaks down there. Number five for in the sky is Jack O'Dwyer is in there. He's trying to get it out. Ian Barry Murphy in there as well. Far. Full back. Kevin Buck gets it across. Number eight, no man in there, number 14, playing out around the middle. Gives a hand pass back to Kevin Burke in the middle of the field. Stolen there by Luke Casey. Still Luke Casey, and Luke is penalised for the chop there on Sean McLaughlin. Yeah, Jeremy McCurvin, the referee, didn't like that from Luke. Luke was uh, thinking it was a bit fair, but maybe that was some of the, the hurling isn't there from the year so far. But back into it is Luke, and Luke will be dangerous anyway today. So, um, Dean the chop. Um, but uh, other days I've seen that. That been uh, been given away, and I think that's where Luke was complaining about that. But, uh, so, free to Nascari here on their own 65 yard line. Drives it long, it's high, and it's all the way over the bar. And that score there by uh, number 25 is Joseph Inwright from his own 65, straight over the bar. In the Scarra lead by two points to one as the ref calls it back there. Puck out was taken too fast by Ty Bradley, so we'll restart the game. Yeah, 
Tigers a bit excited there, wanted to get going. Uh, referee hadn't just uh, the second score from the Scarlet shot down to his, down to his own goal. So Tigers land here, he's looking for Oren O'Connell here, in the right half hour position. One there by number 20 for Nascara is Brian Lowney. Going forward to 25, Joseph Inright back into Aidan O'Man in the middle of the field, gets it out to number 27, Shea O'Donoghue. Shea gives a hand pass over here to Sean McLaughlin. Mark O'Flynn coming in there, pulling him off, also Keeney Fury and Hoffman. Referees his play on this. No foul there. Paddy Toomey is in it. Paddy bringing it out for himself. Gets it up in the stick. Paddy gives a lovely hand pass back to Ian Barry Murphy from the middle of the field. The high ball in. It's going to drop inside. It looks to be dropping. It's just into the keeper's hands. At the edge of the square, gives a lovely pass out to Luke Kyo here with time and space on the ball. Out here in the left corner back position. Puts the ball down here. Cut out by David Thompson. Missed, missed the pick up. And uh, number 20 there, gives it into number 14, Ian Normani puts it over the bar and it's now 3 points to 1 in favour of Inescar. Yeah, Inescar has started well, a couple of, couple of good play here in this interback, the midfield join right, having a good influence on the game so far, and uh, Ian Normani was dangerous in the replay game in the first game, so he'll be dangerous again tonight today. Ty looking for Ian Barry Murphy. Cut out there by Jack O'Dwyer, won again by Ian Barry Murphy, and cut out again by the red helmet of number 12 is John Casey. Gives it to David Thompson. David drives it into the square, looking for it. Uh, Mark Offlin inside, cut out by the keeper. Out to, again, uh, these numbers are very high for Inescala. 27, Shea who goes down long down the right hand side. Back there is Aidan Barry Murphy looking to pick it up. Aidan is fouled and it's a free out double. Yeah, the ball has come in and out of the, the Havaluku forward line a bit too much there. Uh, I mean, they are fighting for the ball, but two, two balls you now in the last few minutes have just gone in over the top and uh, been easy enough for Anaskara to clear. So uh, I will need to figure that out. Ty Anaskara both and Havaluku are playing sweepers at the moment. Ty Bradley with the free short one cut out by John Casey over the far side. Being tracked there by Niall Buckley. Ball just inside the line there. Niall trying to make it off from John Casey over his left shoulder. Puts the ball in and it's over there. That's a fantastic score. That's a fantastic score. Great score again, but uh, all too easy at the moment for Nascara. So they lead by four points to one with seven and a half minutes gone in the game. So Ty looking for James Lane here from the puck out. James reaches up for it. Does his, comes down with it, foul, and it's a free in there to Ahabolog about uh, 40 yards out, 40, uh, 45 yards out, just inside the 45. So it should be relatively straightforward for Mark Lane here yeah, to get the second score for Ahabolog. Linesman brings him back to the original position of the foul, it's probably about. 55 metres out. Drives it in. Looks, it's over the bar at the point. Mark up in with the second score for Avalon. Yeah, four points to two. Avalon just won't keep in touch, and this guy has been the best in the first eight minutes here. Nine minutes coming up now. But, uh, Scarra seems to be winning the battle around the middle of the field here as the ball lands down on top of Sh Shea O'Donoghue. Won there by James Lane, taking out Sky. Leaves a lovely ball into Luke Casey. Doesn't quite get it up the first time. Number nine there, Sean McLaughlin is coming out with the ball. Gives it to Shea O'Donoghue down here on the sideline. Shea looks across the field, he's looking far. Number ten there is Arden O'Connell. Cut out there by Alan Hogan. Alan Hogan's over there doing some great work as a pan pass. Goes astray into Aidan O'Mani. Locked down there by Jack Murphy. Aidan O'Mani still with it. Takes a shot off his left. It looks to be gone to the right. It is gone to the right and it's wide. So it's four points to two in a scarlet leading. Nine and a half minutes gone in the first half. Yeah, there's a, good, a great sunshine here now in Kudu this afternoon. So a few, few of the lads have had trouble catching that ball. Puck out from Ty goes out over the sideline in the full. Here, right on the Inescara, 65. Sideline being taken by Shea O'Donoghue. Seems to be 
starting this game very well. Shea Dunne was having a big influence there in the middle of the field. Yes, Shea Dunne and going right there, having a big impact so far. This is the ball, the first time. Locked down, going right, locked down by Dave Foley. He still comes out with the ball, goes out to the right, looking inside there. For number 28, Dan O'Manny. Dan over his right hand shoulder. Just stand over the bat, it's a point for this car. Yeah, again, a lot of struggling here at the moment to get a grip on this game. Um, you know, Scar is definitely a few lads that may not have played the last day. Seem to be here to, to back in back maybe a fitness or whatever. But uh hopefully well for them so far. Out the left hand side looking for Paddy to me. Ball looks still going out over the line off Paddy's early and it's a line ball for this guy. Almost a reversal of the first game make clear uh, I think it I have a look at the very much the best of the first half and uh, did hurt very well so and for Mascara were out of touch until the second half and they came strong. So hopefully we'll see uh, how we're making it stronger. Uh, it's a long game there, yes, there's only yeah. 11 minutes gone in the game, so there's plenty of time for this to change around. But nice line cut there by John Casey down into the corner. Killian Barry Murphy there comes over with the ball, brings it up along the line, finds Keeney Fury in the middle of the field. Keeney is fouled, put out over the line, and it's a a free to Keeney, back of his own 65. Yeah, Keeney did well there to get that ball in tight quarters, so um, it'll give him a bit of confidence to get going here as well. We need to be game for Keeney Fjord, he's the next excellent stalwart. So Ian Barry Murphy has come out from his half hour position to take this. He's right on the sideline. Long ways out from goal. Drives it. Dropping inside the square. Up drops down to Mark O'Flynn, pulls on the ball, it's a scramble inside the goal. Sarah come over with the ball. Number 23 back there is Seamus. Seamus Desmond. Sends it out, cut off William Barry Murphy, just on the edge of the D. Ian gets it up on his stick, he's going through his foul. Murphy takes the free. Yeah, and, uh, Ian did very well there as well. Go, good goal chance for Mark Flynn did what you know, we tell most of the young fellas to do, give it a good and he got good connection, it was a great save on the line there from the Scarra goalkeeper and Paddy was on the field to follow up but uh, Scarra cleared well but it uh, did well to keep the pressure on and, and win the free and it should make it uh, four, five points to three here and Mark Flynn with his third free Mark, of the game. Mark O'Flynn with a relatively easy free here just out at the edge of the D puts it straight over the bar. Four points for Ahabolog in the Scarra lead by five points to three with just 13 minutes on the clock. Yeah, tight, tight start to the game. Ahabolog keeping in touch with those threes. Um, with, but in the Scarra, being honest, this wasn't well on top. We were winning the middle field battle big time at the moment. And um, but Ahabolog staying in touch, and that's, that's the key piece at this stage. We're not playing well to come back into it. I think all of the five in the Scarra points have come from play, whereas the three Ahabolog. Points have come from freeze as the Poco glands here. David Thompson, fantastic catch. Two in the Scarum in a row, then sent the bus through, sends it out to Jay. Cut out there by number 25 is Joe Enright. Long ball in. Slips in off pipes and goes into the next goal for Scarra. A speculative shot from Joseph Enright from the middle of the field. And Ty dropped it just on the line inside and looking. He was having a bit of pressure coming down. Maybe he'd, he, he'd again send someone coming in and off of him, but it was unfortunate. <laughs> One there by Sean McLaughlin. Carries it out over the line. It's a line ball to Ahabolok here, just inside the 65, being taken by Oren O'Connell. Oren has a lovely cut of the ball, actually. This is actually very scorable for Moran. If he gets a good connection here. See, I've seen him doing it in Quartra. Long ways out. Doesn't connect right. Locked down by Joe Enright. Going back out over the line. And it's a line ball this time. The linesman signals that it's in the scarab ball. Came off the foot of Marco Flynn there. Nice cut of the ball. 
Goes to David Thompson, Killian Barry Murphy, and David Thompson trying to get the ball off. Number 28 there is. Liam's all over the ball from here. Is there 28 there? Daniel Murphy. Daniel Murphy puts the ball he over the bar. He started the last day as well, but he's been 28 today, but 163 points out in his carrot, and they're well on top at the moment. So looking for Niall Buckley here. Won by Ian Barry Murphy over on the far side of the pitch. There's a lovely ball into James Lane. And James gets up, gives a nice flick, keeps the ball. He's fouled, and it's a free in to. Well, Have a look. Cynical uh, headball chop there. Um, James Lane would have hit that up in the stick. He was gone and uh, he was running at goal again. James seems to we need to get the likes of James and Luke Casey into the game here. The danger men for Have a look in about many far, senses. About 48 yards out, out, right, out close to the sidelines. So it's a much more difficult shot for Mark, but I think he has his eye in at this stage. He's put three over the bar at this stage, hasn't he? He does, he's three over the bar so far. Into the wind, though, he's playing it. That's it. They've still gone left and gone wide at this stage. So it's still 163 points within the Scar leading. Goalkeeper Evan Cunningham. Taking his time. James Lane again underneath that ball, gets a lovely flick out. Locked. James is still on the ball here, trying to get it. One by Paddy to me. Paddy is over the ball, stolen there by the in the scaraman gets it. Oh, lovely flick there by Orn O'Connor. Orn has time and space to push it now. He's running straight in on goal. In the scarab midfielder comes across him. Orn takes a shot and puts it. It's all over the bar, isn't it? Over the bar. That's over the bar, that's a point for Orn. It looked like it dropped, it hit the net and it dropped down. No, I thought he, it. He did well, no, no, he's alright. He's a point alright, went over the bar. So it's 1 6 to 4 points with Inascara leading. Better enough, Mahabal, a bit of play in the middle field. John Casey here, out by the sideline. Gets the ball in, Ian Barry Murphy knocks it down to David Thompson. One here by Keeney Fury. Keeney coming out of the ball, puts a lovely crossfield pass over in front of Paddy Toomey. There's a race right here with Paddy wins the race. Puts it inside to Aidan Healy inside the full power position. Aidan Healy. It's deflected out for a 65 to Ahabalug. Much better play there now the last three minutes, John. Better, much better again, getting a small grip there in the middle of the field. Um, I think Keeney has come into it well. Or no O'Connell has stepped up as well, so that's always good when you get the younger lads there as well stepping up to play. We need uh, a bit more now from we can get a bit more of James Lane on the ball. I think there'll be a bit more creativity there, which, uh, which in turn still haven't got the chance to see Luke Casey play his life, but um, that can come as well when he's moved to the right. Mark Finnegan now looking for another one. We're at four points to one six. Uh, just coming up with 18 and a half minutes gone here, so. Still uh, a difficult one here for Mark. He's about halfway between the middle of the field and the sideline. Referees inside in the goal mode, talking to someone inside there. Laying down a few rules. Waves play on there with Mark stepping up to take the free. They're going to the left again. Going to the left, so still a five point game. In the scar, leaving one six to four shoot, points. Shooting into a strong enough wind over, you can see on the, the, the far side. So, still a good bit of work to do here for Mahabalog, but staying in touch. Um, five points behind top. One there by Mahabalog. Player breaks it down to number five. Did he step over the sideline? Cut out by Keeney Fury. Keeney's been fouled. They pushed off the ball. It's three and two. Abolok in the middle of the field there. He 
feel very muffy there, assistant coach as well, or one of the player coaches at this stage, complaining about the, the slitter. To be a good ball right into the square, top of the square. Players went in before the ball, and it's a free out to Ines Carroll. That's right, Ian is one of the selected trio. You have Noel Cafferty, you have Johnny Hubbard, and Ian Barry Murphy. Um, whereas Ian wasn't in a playing role at the start of the year, he's far his way back to full fitness. And uh, this is his first start out the field. Short puck out by Ines Carroll, out to Joseph Inright, out on the far side. Over his left, David Thompson there underneath the ball, collects it, drives it up into the corner looking for Aidan Healy, cut out by Ines Garriman across number 27, that's Shea O'Donoghue, puts the ball down into the corner there, number 20 down there is, I don't know, I can't find him on the program, number 27 runs into James Lane, Back to 14, Daniel Aidan O'Mahony. High ball into the square, number 8 to the side there. Cut out there by Alan Hogan. Alan puts it back up into the mix of players again. Keeney Fury there. Aidan Healy there. One by Aidan Healy, one by Keeney Fury again. The ball is still there. Daniel O'Mahony back to number 25 is Joanne Wright. Ball into the square again. Flick there by Michael Buck and the ball goes over the bar. Lovely spot. Again, you know, it's a strong little team that's got out at the moment and we're going to have seen that battle at the moment because uh, two players have won injuries here now. Six point game at the moment, Joe. In the Scarra leading by 174 points, 22 minutes on the clock. Um, in the Scarra, having definitely had the better of the first half, but have other still staying in touch? Staying in touch, and I think, you know, I, I guess, you know, the lads, you know, we're eight, we're ten minutes to go to half time here now, and I guess a bit of a chat at half time will show that we haven't played our best at the minute and we'll have a win in the second half, so, you know, we're still a long way away from that yet. There's going to be a couple more scores before half time here, and it all depends on. What we have live, but I would, you know, for a lot six point game now, so we can close that gap before our time, we will be in good shape. Then. Long puck out here, David Thompson under this. Doesn't come up with it, the Scaraman comes up with the ball. Out to Joanne right here. Ball up the left hand side, nice pass into Darrow Manny. Joanne right is straight in here. There's a shot as well, so straight over the bar, and another point is coming this time. I see the puck through quite easy when it's put through at the moment. I see there um, Keeney Fury is the back to centre back now, and David Thompson is out into midfield. He's obviously trying to address that, but that, that, that was wide open there. Sharp puck out here to Jack Murphy in the right half back position. Jack goes long, he's looking for David Thompson, Ian Barry Murphy up here on the right hand side. Cut out by Dean Scaraman. And short to number nine. Sean McLaughlin, a booming ball in down, won by Ian Barry Murphy there. Cut out, Ian Barry Murphy on it again, comes out with the ball, finds Alan Hogan, cut out there by John Casey. Killian Barry Murphy wins it, over to Aidan, Aidan is blocked down by John Casey, and the ball goes wide. Killian did well there, he's, he's uh, replacing the hurley there now, did well in the block. It's a line ball to have a look. We'd be better off if it had gone wide. It was blocked down. Yeah, in the tight corner there now with uh, awkward spot for the four on the scoreboard here at the moment. Awkward spot down there in the corner. Jack Murphy going to take it. He's about a yard out from the end line. Cut out there by Aid. 
Aiden O'Mahony, Aiden O'Mahony puts it across the square, blocked on by Tyg, there's time and space on the ball, Tyg is coming out, he's out past the 21, has a good look up, driving it long, looking for Aidan Healy above there, and Ian Barry Murphy to the Scarlet and Collide, Luke Casey gets the ball, Ian Barry Murphy into Luke Casey, Luke is going to go for goal here, if he gets the, if he can get the ball up, he is up, he has it up, he's fouled, inside the square, that looks to be a penalty, the ref says it is a penalty, great chance for Abbo looking to get back in the game here, as Luke has had a goal on there and yeah, I pulled out. I was Again, the lack, of us, the lack of hurling this year for Luke, I suppose, just that, that first pick-up, I'd say he would have been in and away there, um, but that was, that was much better for Abbo, there was some clever flicks in the forwards, I mean, the, the, the skill level is there inside the forward line, there is goals in this team if they want to get going, if we can get that ball into the inside line, because it's very dangerous, you know, players like Oren, uh, James Lane, Luke Casey, um, even Aidan got a super goal in the, in, the, in the first game here, the replay the drawn game, so uh, let's hear it as Mark Finn lining up to, to hit this penalty. Mark is going to take this, it is going to lead by 1-8 to 4 points. What a finish. Four back to a four point game again. Four minutes left in the first half. And uh, that's a, another point or two will keep us very much in touch with this game. So good there by Joey right. Off his left hand. He's gone to the left and done one. So Tyg up the right hand side, under it is David Thompson, David goes up for it, doesn't come down with it, one there by number five, Jack O'Dewar gives a hand pass out to Shea O'Donoghue, 27, out to Daniel Murphy up the right hand side, being Killian Barry Murphy is on his back, in the scanner come with the ball, number 10 Aaron O'Connell, out to that's Michael Buck inside in full forward. Goes across the square, looks for 28. Great save there by Ty Bradley. Gets the ball out to Keeney Fury. Keeney goes long up here looking for Marco Flynn. Slightly over his head. Won by Sean McLaughlin, cut out over the line by... Ty is down in the area there. Um, struggling with Really, really brave. Kick of the ball when as the Inniscar man was pulling on the ball to put it back in there. The game has gone on here. Inniscar is still in the ball. One there by Ian Barry Murphy comes out with the ball. Hand pass out to Jack Murphy. Jack swivels, drives it up the field. Underneath it is Ian Barry Murphy. Ian is taking off up the sideline, takes a shot off his right. And it's gone to the right and gone wide. And look at there for me. Um, did well again. But this game is lightening up just before halftime. Tiger still struggling with the injury, but with the goal mouth. Still hobbling there. One back there by Luke Casey. Back inside the zone. 45. Looking for the long pass again up to Ian Barry Murphy, Aidan Healy under this, goes over the head. Ian Barry Murphy is first onto this. He fouls as we go for the kick off and it's a three in to Abolo and a great chance to make it a three point game again. I'd say that could be a yellow card there as well for uh, straight hack. Ian is down struggling but. Supporters here thinking that it's a fair challenge, but in Barry Murphy is a few things to say about that. I'd say not. Mark Flynn looks like the. Mark is going to punish him here. Hopefully, he'll put it straight over the bar, get back to a three point game again. Yeah. Uh, there was a goal chance there, I suppose. There was, no, I mean, I'm surprised he didn't get a yellow card almost because he took him down, he was cynical enough. Um, put out the hook. Tiger is still receiving um, attention in goals, and we've got middle of the field here with Aidan is down as well. Um, 
than Mark has got to be. Straight over the bar, back to three point game, Mark McLean with another free again for Abolet. So the referee is holding it up now for treatment. To wait on here, Tyg is still struggling below, his hands on his knees. Seems to be back up again. Just into injury time in the first half, 30 minutes gone. One here by Keeney Fury, in the centre back position. Locked down by Aidan O'Mahony. Back to Shea. Join right, dropped the chart into Ty Bradley. Looks to be the full back spot here. Kevin Burke won it over there on the far side. Gives a hand pass in to Aidan O'Mahony. Aidan is fouled right in the middle of the field, just as he wants to strike the ball. And it's a free in from the middle of the field too in this game. Right, the free from the earlier one. Um, but yeah, in this game, quite skilled for the own little field, but for all the dominance in the first half, a couple of companions to stay in touch and have done well here. So hopefully a bit of a wrapping on half time from the lads. And um, a little bit of a lot stronger of the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Barry Murphy is a very good friend, but well just quite in the selection of the field. Um, Ian and, Luke, Ian and Luke have looked really, really dangerous inside. Ian Hall is now playing out in the wing forward, along with Mark O'Flynn, who seems to be out there as well, in the half-hour position, as Joe Wright takes this free. It's dropping into the square. Flicked out to the side. David Thompson trying to come out with the ball. It goes out over the line, and it's a 65-2 in the scara. And we're at 31 and a half minutes in the first half. See now if Ty gets to this ball out after the 65 goes in. Might be uh, what, so we're hitting the 32 second minute of the game here. So uh, uh, we'll three points down, which has done well to come back to that much after being six points down there. Ten minutes to go on the second first half. Draw in right. Looks to be left. No, oh. Sam is a point. Point for the Sarah. 1 9. A uh, ball of 1 5. And 32 minutes gone. Is it half time it is? Half time here. Second half here about to start. And it's kind of leading 1 9 to 1 6. Jack Murphy now in the middle of the field. David Thompson at wing back. Jack finds Paddy Tommy, a lovely pass into Paddy's hand, Paddy's hoop as he tries to strike the ball. One there by the Nascara, number six. Stone O'Callaghan who overcarries so many steps as the ref, and it's a free in to Ahabulog with Mark O'Flynn going to come out here and try and bring it back to a two point game. Yeah, better start to get out from Ahabulog in the second half, they'll want that. Still, I'm sure they would have talked about that at half time. Come on out and uh, try and get the first score of the game. And Mark O'Flynn has a great chance now to knock it up to the six. Oh, sorry, uh, it's a four point game, apologies. Great strike by Mark, straight over the bar. It's back to a three point game again. Good start in the Earl of Mabalook in the second half. Long puck out. Ian Barry Murphy under this gets a touch with. One by John Casey over there. Puts the ball in. Front of the full forward, Michael Buck. One there by Niall Buckley, cut out. Keeney Fury now. Foul. High, high tackle there on Keeney Fury, and it's a free out to Avalon. Keeney trying to take it fast, but the ref calls it back. He wants to have a word with the Inus Gallup player there. I think this for a bird was really afterwards. I think he was willing to let it go on the Irma Curl one there, but um, just telling him to cut it out. Just the can it down there. So Tyg is going to come out and take the free. He seems to be recovering from the knock he took in the first half. Just out at the edge of the D. Going long. Looking down there for Luke Casey. Luke misses the catch. One there by the centre back down, Luke Callahan. Puts a low ball up into the middle. 
Go over all this. One of them in there is Paddy Tumi. Paddy, lovely hand pass out to Orn. Look, handle out here on the left hand side. Bit of space, Orn, over his left shoulder, and it just goes to the left and right. Number 12 here, John Casey takes a shoulder, puts the ball in, cut out by Keeney Fury into his hand, lovely, lovely cut out by Keeney, puts the ball down low to Jack Ruffy, Jack mistimes it, and then fouls in, in Ascara. Midfielder Sean McLaughlin and it's a free in to Inniscarra just inside the 65 and it looks to be taken there by number 25 again I can't find join right. Yeah. A few of these Inniscarra lads would have been members of the senior team that was, or the Premier Intermediate team that won the county last year to take them up senior. So. A lot of them are away for the summer and back in time for this game. by 110 to 16. Tide looking for Paddy Toomey here. Paddy under the dropping ball. Falls down to Ian Barry Murphy. Ian across the square looking for Luke Casey. Luke out on the 21 trying to get the ball up. Does on his hand. Strikes over his right shoulder. And it's gone over the bar. And it's a point for Luke Casey. Nice score there, nice way right right walk. Score, yeah, Luke's first score of the game, we need more of him on the ball. Um, if they can get the ball into Luke, he is dangerous, so it's a good, uh, the umpires have to have a bit of a discussion, so it's been tight, but it was great score. Ball here dropping over, Lock Handel under it, gets a flick to it, off in the Scaraman, goes out over the line, and it's a line ball for Abel up here, right in the centre of the field. Or Lock Handel was taken inside. Right, Aaron no Sullivan has been in part of forward. Aaron is on in the second half as the number 14 there. Hand passes to Kevin Buck. Cut out by Jack Murphy here in front of the stand. Going right, gets it, drives it up. I can't find these numbers at all. This program is all open. It's Daniel Murphy was fouled, and it's a free in to Inniscar. Number 15. So join right here with the free, about just outside the 45 yard line. Puts it straight over the line, almost here. Another point for Inniscarra as number 20 is so another sub comes in there. Number 20 is Brian Lowney coming into the pitch. Did I see a sub going off, Joe? Ian Barry Murphy grabs the ball there in the middle of the field, burst forward. Ian now gives a hand pass out to Jack Murphy. There's room inside, there's someone inside. Jack is fouled right on the 21, straight in front of the goal. Yeah, Ian Barry Murphy playing very well now at the moment. He's kind of got out in the half forward line. He's very, very effective and very dangerous. He's winning off of the ball and uh, being very creative with it. And Aaron Russell made a run there. He had made himself available. He was all on his own. If, if uh, Jack could have just got the ball into him, but he couldn't. Too many in the Scarabin Allen. Free here now for Mark Flynn. Straight in front of the goal. It's in a scar of 11, a Habolo 18, and six and a half minutes gone in the second half. You know, much better start to the second half than I really wanted that, but they need to start closing the gap now on the scoreline. One there by Joe in right over on the sideline, puts the ball low in front of Alan Hogan. Alan is crossed out, gathers the ball, drives it down low. Looking for Jack Murphy, comes across to James. Lane, James sidesteps the tackle, puts the ball in the And he's running, he puts the ball in, in front of Aaron O'Sullivan here, in here in the corner of our position. Aaron would have been room, looking to take on the full back. 
comes outside to the 21, puts the ball over his left shoulder, looking for a score. And it is over the score, and that's a fantastic score for Aaron O'Connor. Brilliant stuff. Aaron was excellent in the, uh, in the game in, um, in, in Ballyfallig a few weeks ago, and uh, that's, that's just shows when he's you know, back into the side, and they're going to have very effective, and that's a great score. Back to a two point game here with just over seven minutes gone in the second half as the puck out down here lands on top of Niall Buckley. One there by Sean McLaughlin. Seems to be over carrying. One again by Orton up. Connell gives it back to Keeney Fury as the game is really livening up now in the second half. Puts the ball down low in front of Ian Barry Murphy. Gathered up by Aaron O'Sullivan. Aaron taking on. There's two men inside him. One of them is number three, the full back. He's gone inside him. He's looking for a goal. Puts it over the bar and another point for Abelick and we're right back in the big show. Okay, point for the game, that's excellent stuff from Ireland, all of it again. You know, phenomenal stuff. Keeney Fury did really well, great ball down in there. And Kevin Burke was beat, he paid big time by Ireland, all of it there. Ireland was against the goal, but um, wide decision in taking the little point. Point in it now, eight minutes down in the second half. Things to play for here. Aaron has made a big difference, he came in there in the second half, he's two points scored already in the first eight minutes. So no, they had 16 men on the team until now, for the last two minutes. If we lose the game, maybe we can um, do a blarney on it in the title. Jack Murphy picks up the loose ball here on the sideline. Lovely pass up to Orn O'Connell. Orn with time and space in front of him now. Running in on goal. Still Orn, still going. Gives a hand pass across to Ian Barry Murphy. Ian Barry Murphy on the 21. He's fouled. He's fouled. It's a free in inside the 21. Is he inside the square? Could be a penalty. He's giving it, no, give it, it for the first foul that was out on the 21. Direct running from Ahabulog again now. I think the, the likes of the likes of Aaron has really added that injection to pace, but now uh, no, when you've got when you've got the likes of um, Oren there beginning to run it there, it's now James Lane, the younger the younger crew again flying into it. Aaron keeps the cards in the pocket at the moment anyway, uh, and Marco Flynn looking to make it uh, a draw match. And there we are. There's 40 minutes gone in the game just now. I have all the guns up. Play the ball out to the field here. David Thompson under this. Flicks it down to Party Chumi. Won by the Inescara centre back, number six. Gives the ball up. Killian Barry Murphy is there. Killian is over the ball. David Thompson comes out with it. Hand pass to Party Chumi. Party is all over the pitch. He's working really, really hard. Lovely ball in front of Luke Casey. Gets it into his hand. Luke is taking him on again. Luke is running towards goal, he's on the 21, takes his shot, and it's gone to the left and gone right. Big, big, big change in the game at the moment now, and Ahabul is miles on top of this game and running direct at, at Inniscara, and this is proving to be very, very effective. Um, the old ref has gone in to have a chat with someone here. Um, has he given a free input to the post or something? He looks to be calling something. The linesman is over there, is there, is there a free over there? Yeah, Judge Murphy's got it back to his ball. Free over there, Lightning's the pitch, so it must have been when Luke got the ball first. That's where he got the ball to turn. Yeah, yes, yes. So he was over there. So Marco Flynn with a free about uh, 40, just, he's just on the 45 yard line. Over towards the far side line there. It's a difficult free, but this is a chance for Abolook to go ahead 11 minutes into the second half. Marco Flynn strikes the ball, and it's straight over the bar as Abolook looks at the Here now. 
Gregor has got the wrinkle forward. Getting fairly physical now here. So referee decides to throw the ball in. Well, ten players around them. There's only meant to be two. Number 12, John Casey gets it back to Bell Buckley. Now he gets it into his hand, goes across the field. There's no uh, bullet man over there. The centre back for the scarlet door look has it all time and space up into the corner. Dylan also the fold in the corner. It's a free in for in the scarlet. Needless, needless free there. Seemed to get a bit of a push in the back there just as he went to kick the ball. And uh, Joe Enright going to take this free again. Oh, 45 yards out. Right here, you'd expect to knock the ball over the bar. He's, he's a very well so far, so looking to level up the game again. 44 minutes of the game now. He's gone directly into the sun there. Not an easy shot from there. He makes no mistake. It seems to be over the bar. Right there, the goal. And it's a draw match here. 112 apiece with 13 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Casey wins it there. The third or fourth attempt coming out with the ball. James Lane is on his heels, tackling him. Number 25, Joe Wright, looking for Dylan O'Sullivan to call again. Cut out by Alan Hogan, superbly. David Thompson picks up the loose ball. He's fouled as he picks it up. Drives the ball down. The ref goes back for the free. Foul on David Thompson there, just as he went to pick up the ball. Our bullet manager Joe, or in the scale manager Joe, he gets get a bit excited there. He's out onto the pitch. He's out. Maybe he's going to play midfield himself. As the ball, the ball goes ball. in there. And the ball has gone wide. So it's on the free. Oh no, Connor took that one from his side, is on 65. One there by David Thompson. Down to Sean McLaughlin. Puts the ball up into the corner. Look to be a free to Nascara. Number 28, Dan Lomani has the ball out of the corner flag. A hand pass back to Joe Wright. Goes back, makes an angle for himself, takes the ball off over his shoulder. The ball is dropping into the square. Niall Buckley is there, Ty Bradley is there on top of the ball. I think the referee is probably going to throw it in here, is it, Joe? Looks like it. I think there's a bit of heat. Jim McCarran doesn't want any, anything over. He knows that there's plenty of heat and nothing no last between the time. No low blast between the team. So I think he's making it very clear that he's not going to try and let any scuffle take place. No. He's he calling over. Tig, 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 Tig is always plenty to say. Tig has got, uh, he's getting Tig's personal details there. I think he's probably getting his Revolut number, is he? Gets a yellow card. Here with the green hat, that's going to be in. Ball will be thrown in here now again. David Thompson trying to pick up the ball there. Three with the scoundrel around him. Killy Mary Murphy gives a hand pass out to Jack Murphy. Jack driving it long down the field here, looking for Luke Casey. Luke gets into his hand, drops it again. Two in the scarlet men around him. Luke still has it. He's flicking it along, bringing it along in front of him. Still trying to get it up, still flicking it. Cut out by the in the centre back there. Don't look, Alan, who finds number 28, Daniel, Daniel Murphy, in the middle of the field. Daniel just seems to run into it. 
the ball of man, Paddy Toomey, come trying to get it. It's getting physical out there now in the middle of the field. James Lane. Number eight here is Michael Burke has come out from full forward out. That looks to be good. It looks to be over there. And it is. And I have all the to lead again with 17 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Yeah, yeah this is Scarra 113, I have a little 12. It was a good score again, good with the physical. Oh, no, we get down our feet! Scarra on top there again in the middle. Ball goes in over, there's really a lot of space beside there. As the other man comes over the ball. Three out, one there by Don O'Callaghan. Scarra have made a few fits around. In the <laughs> getting a bit feisty up here too, um, but the Mascara have made definitely a few changes in the half back going there to try and combat that. You know, the first 10 minutes of that have a lot of really running at them in the start of the second half here, um, but off play for still here. The Mascara lead by a point, 12 13 minutes to go, plus a bit of injury time. Fantastic free taken there. Finds Daniel must be out in the right half hour position back to John Casey. John on his left over his left shoulder. And that's a fantastic score. Well worth scoring this area. Over two points into the lead. We made the back and let him get back up and make the pass. So I will need to tighten it up now again and get going. Tied with the puck out here looking for Jack Murphy, Ian Barry Murphy. Flips it in one there by the in the Scaraman. Finds Daniel Murphy in the middle of the field who's had a lot of space in the middle of the field in the last couple of minutes. Puts it in in front of the front forward. Dylan O'Sullivan being marshaled there by Alan Hogan. Alan fouls him on the 21. Probably all he could do at that stage because Dylan was in for goal. Yeah, but he got in with him to get away, but he might be fortunate at the first half. Uh, so Paddy, Paddy's coming out of the game here, number 17. Sean O'Sullivan is into the game, so Paddy to me. Paddy's done really well today. Played so. very well. It's a best of game, won a lot of ball, a lot of loose ball on the middle of the field, and gave some great pass. A lot of loose ball there, so... Um, we made it physical enough there, but we need a bit more energy now in the last 10 minutes and I have a look at Sean a nice tidy hurler to come into the field at this stage. So Joanne right here with the free for Inascara from inside the middle of the D. Should be straightforward enough. It is. It's over the bar. Inascara going to a three-point lead now. Inascara 115, Ahabolog 112 with 10 minutes left in the game. Puck out taken by Ty Bradley looking for Sean O'Sullivan. First ball down to Sean. Sean wins it, bats it down to himself. Won by the Inescaravan again. A lot of space going right here in the middle of the field again. Drops the ball in. That looks to be dropping in into the square. Ty, ball gone wide and a wild pull on Ty Bradley inside there. Ty Glenting, a bit more. More physio here. Looks like we're going to be coming in. Another substitute. Adam Murphy looks like he's going to be coming in. Try to get back to his feet anyway again. Adam Murphy coming in for Abolog. He's coming in in the forward line. Niall Buckley. And Niall Buckley is coming off. Adam seems to be going into the forward line. Seems to be going in the full forward position. Niall played very well today at, at left half back. And uh, time for the fresh legs now. Ty goes long up the right hand side looking for David Thompson up there. One inside there by Marco Flynn. Shot half blocked. Adam Murphy looking to try and win it inside there. James Lane. Ball is deflected over the bar for a point for Could have been a goal though. Could have been a goal though. Long puck out again from the Inniscarman. Keeney Fury under this over here. Won by John Casey for Inniscarra. Ball running, running up along the sideline. Half locked down, brings it in low, tight, hands it inside, runs out the line. 
Goes down, look for James Lane. One there by Ian Barry Murphy. Over his left shoulder. Looking for Luke Casey inside there. He's fouled and it's a free end to uh, Bullock again. A chance to make it, bring it back to a one point game here with Mark Rufflin. Brilliant stuff by Ian Barry Murphy. Like he's again showing his desire to try and win this game. Um, excellent stuff to bring the ball back and try the ball in. And Luke, uh, you know, as usually, Luke will garner like him. There's always a danger once he gets the ball into his hand and he's gone, and then Scarlett will know that. And uh, they took him out of the game there very quickly. So, Mark has a chance now to bring it back to a one point game with seven minutes of normal time to go. There'll be a few minutes of injury time added, I'm sure. But uh, I'd say we've probably got about 10 minutes left in this game. Noel Cafferty comes in here to show the few instructions. Noel is expecting a bit warm weather today, I'd say he's in the shorts. Jerry Hubbard by his side there. Two lads on the sideline. The other man, a part of the management team, is Ian Barry Murphy, who's inside there in the middle of the field with the red helmet. As Mark Rufflin lines up to take this free 45 yards out, out to the right, probably just inside of 45. Strikes it well and strikes it straight over the bar. And we're back to a one point game with six and a half minutes to go. Yeah, big finish coming here now with one point of the game is quite the margins. And have a look beginning to beginning to come back into it again. Cut out there by Alan Hogan. To the start of the Number 15, Dylan O'Sullivan drives it in. It looks to be going to the right and it's gone wide. Long puck out again, seems to be looking for James Lane, and James Lane wins it, kicks it out in front of himself. Dispossessed, going right, up the left. Cut out there by Keeney Fury. Keeney gives a low pass into Luke Casey, back in his own 45. Luke skies it, he's looking for Adam Murphy down inside the full forward line. That ball is dropping over the bar, and it's a point, and the game is level again. It's just over five minutes left. Yeah, That's a phenomenal score by Luke. Um, normally, he's, he's danger much closer to the goal, but that is a phenomenal score from Luke Casey. Aaron O'Sullivan over the ball, so is Orton O'Connor. Ball goes out in the scanner ball. Goes out off in the scanner and it's the line ball to uh, one of Jack Murphy now getting involved. Could be in trouble here, being the third man in. <laughs> number 30, Fergal O'Leary has come on there for number 24. He's not even on the program. Number 24 is Michael Cullen. So, Orlo O'Connor with the line ball just outside his own 65. Might struggle to make the bar this time, but. Number 12, John Casey picks up the ball off his left. John Casey, that's dropping inside. Caught out by Ty Bradley. Michael Buck has gone back in full forward. Ty goes safe and he goes out over the sideline on the right hand side. Get the ball over there. Probably the safest thing to do. Still a draw match, 115 each. 56 and a half minutes on the, on the clock. So it's probably 6 or 7 minutes left in this yet. Could this being a replay draw. That's the chance of extra time here. The line is going to be the chopping yet this evening, so I suppose hopefully we'll be able to manage in the next few minutes. Nine ball here to Inescara. Again, a bad cut, but one there by 25, back to 14. That's dropping in front of Ty Bradley. 
Craig has time, goes out the right hand side, puts it back out, the other Scaraman is there, got over his head, David Thompson is there, John O'Sullivan is there, but the Scar centre forward, Stephen O'Sullivan, goes back to his centre back. Cut out there, one in the middle of the field by Killian Barry Murphy, working really, really hard, tries to kick it. Thompson is going to pick the ball off the ground. Some, somebody over there is going to pick the ball off the ground. It's a free and in the scarf in the middle of the field. And this is definitely a point that Jordan Wright is going to have a pack off this and it's within his range, I would think. Massive crowd here today. Obviously, the junior GA hurling final is on after that between Gripsy and Ballinora. So, a big crowd now arriving for the game here as well. Still in the draw game here. Just two minutes of normal time to go. It's 115 to Inescara, 115 to Abolok, two minutes to go. Anybody's game at this stage. Anybody's game now. We've got a big deep in the fitness hall for some of the Abolok young lads. Who, who take this Ty Gigging goes long, looking for James Lane over there in the far side, goes over his head, won by Venus Garaman. Nicked out of his hand by James Lane, Owen O'Connell out, half locked down. Jim, John Casey in space, that's what last thing you want is John Casey in space. He's running straight through, he's on the edge of the D, he's half hooked, ball is blocked, Killing Barry Murphy blocks it down, kicks the ball clear. And out comes Alan Hogan. Alan is fouled and it's a three out to Adam. He got a crack in the head and hardly on the way out. But um, Alan Hogan and Killian Barry Murphy next in there last time. Last ditch defending. Killian has had an outstanding game there in the full back line today. Has been absolutely outstanding. He's been playing very, very well. I think. Uh, you know, I think Keeney is coming the centre back there and he's cleaned up a lot in the first few minutes of the game. We were struggling there and Keeney has done very well. Um, we go through the last couple of minutes of this game. We're, we're just about hitting the, in the normal time draw game at the moment, 115 apiece. Control the game. Next score is vital here. Because there may only be one more score in this I game. I hope there's that extra time because I don't think my battery is great. <laughs> I don't think it's going to last we over we 20 right. minutes. We really have to go to the phone for the last 20 minutes of the game. I still think there's a, there's a score in this. Yes. There will be, I'd say, at least five minutes added on here. I would think there's been a few injuries in the second half. Um, no, so. Number 22, Alec Roach, there, coming on for the Scarra. There's nobody else come off yet again. In the first half, they had a guy on for three minutes. Shea Dunahoo coming off. The game can resume Mick, with Mick, a free. Mick, Mick Healy is marking the Scarra lads here about their extra men the whole time. So Tyg with the free on his own 21. Going long, looking for Mark O'Flynn down there. Mark is under the dropping ball. And the Scarra man comes over with it. Healy Fury looking to cut this out. He, he does. Keeney Fury still walking back, tracking back to his own 45 to win that ball. Keeney goes low to James Lane out on the far sideline. James looking to take him on. Looking inside, blocked down. James wins it back again, blocked down again. James has it again. He's going forward now, is he going to take a shot? Gives a hand pass to David Thompson. David Thompson tries to hand pass it back. Stolen by the English cameraman. Up into the corner here, the favourite is Dylan O'Sullivan here. No, no, he's not doing no so it's 24. That's going to the left. It's going to the left. Ty. Ty gets fouled inside there, surely. He's got an awful bathroom today. He's, he's, uh, he's been in the wars. That's his third or fourth time now getting treatment today. But he, the, the scarab man seemed to come down on his back there as he was on the ground picking up the ball. I think it's his third or fourth time. He's definitely been in the wars 
today. He'll be in the field in sore for them. Looks like he's going to have the ball here on the 21 yard line. Jory Hubbard about to throw the shoulder in here now to Joe Herlihy. Tap of the is running anyway, that is more to tie. Stack to Noel inside. Check and see if his goalkeeper's alright. Kermit Kerwin is uh, not showing an awful pity for tying the goals there and wants him to, to kind of get going. So we're back for the extra time here. It finished at 115 each. One change in the ball of team. Kitty Mary Murphy hobbled off at the end of just when the game was over. And Kieran Thompson has come on from Kieran, Kieran has gone in half forward. He's out there trying to win the ball now. Won by Sean O'Sullivan. Up to James Lane. Stolen off James Lane. Kieran Thompson in there looking for it. James Lane looking for it. Kieran kicks it ahead of him, won by the Nascara centre back Don Lock Allens, who gives it out to the free man out on the right, number 28 is Daniel Murphy, puts the ball into the corner, that ball is going wide. Adam Murphy got in corner back instead of kidding Barry Murphy. The Abolic team lining out as follows for extra time, Ty Bradley in goal, full back line Adam Barry Murphy, Aidan Arr. Adam Murphy, Aidan Barry Murphy and Alan Hogan. The ball comes up here. Ian Barry Murphy goes up for the ball. Won there by the number 20. And he wins the free in. And had a chance for Avalon to win to the lead here. Yeah, Oren did well there to win that free. Need a big um, did a bit to sign up Oren. Well capable of uh, being a game winner here. But Ian Barry Murphy again so far has been excellent for Avalon. And he's, uh, he's been half, half back line for uh, but look, as Mark O'Flynn lines up for the free, is Kieran Thompson seems to be come back, half back. That's all straight off the bar. Lead score for uh, well, look, Kieran Thompson, Keeney Fury, and Jack Murphy. Middle of the field is James Lane, Ian Barry Murphy, half forward line, Orn O'Connor, Sean O'Sullivan. Thereby taken up out of the sky by Joe Enright. Seemed to have got a slap in the helmet from Jack. Was it Orn? So it's a free in here. Chance to level up the score. Just on the 65 yard line out here uh, towards this sideline. He's been good from freeze. Joe Enright today. So this is a bit tougher than most of the ones he's had. It's going in. Dropping. It's gone over the bar. Draw back, 116 each, with two and a half minutes gone in, 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 in extra time. Yeah, good score, Joey, and we're just mixing from the freeze today, so he's not getting a couple of get away at all at any point in this game. Ian Barry Murphy onto the loose ball here. Stolen off him. In a scar full forward, Aidan Omani in the middle of the field. Aidan in front of, one there by Alec Roach. With Adam Murphy on him. Puts the ball in, on top of Ty Bradley. 
Ty clears it long out the middle of the field. Looking here for Sean O'Sullivan under the dropping ball. Ball comes out this side of the field here. Well played by Sean O'Sullivan. Won by the Mascara midfielder. Sean Buck was lying on the ball, lying on the ground. And that is the. That's going to be a hot ball there. Seeing somebody their arm around somebody. Hot ball anyway, I think. Uh, Referee now going over to the Nascara bench. So it's a hot ball here. 45 yards out for the Nascara goal. Hot ball won by Barry Murphy. He's been landed with Nascara in the air and around the ball. Won by Sean O'Sullivan. Gives a lovely hand pass to David Thompson. Bit of space in the middle of the field. Low ball and look for Luke Casey. Cut out. James Lane cuts it out. James is running on the goal. James Lane on the 21. Brilliant save by the Discarra keeper. Comes out to Aaron O'Sullivan. Aaron off his left. Oh, it's still Luke there coming out. Discarra come out with the ball. On the ball, 65 yards out, brings it across here to Daniel, Mur Daniel Murphy. Low ball outside to number 28, Edmund Manny. Looks yes. over the bar, and that's a lead for Inescara with just less than five minutes gone in the first half of extra time. Inescara's going to be on the ball, not taking the left chance, but um, James Lane, if we get more on that ball, going to add him, it's a good effort. Um, James is suffering from cramp here at the moment. I think it'll start coming through now in this uh, five minutes into extra time here in the first half of extra time. And this guy leading by a point. Martin Buckley coming in to see after him. And this guy man down at the edge of the D as well is the number 23 there. He is. Seamus Desmond. <coughs> A little managerial chat here in the side limit between Ian Barry Murphy and Noel Cafferkey. As we resume with a puck out for Ty Bradley, bring it down to this side of the field here, reaching up for David Thompson, James Lane, David Thompson gets it up into his hand, down again in the Scaraman, Sean McLaughlin comes over with it, man, you know, stolen by James Lane, stolen from James Lane again, hooked as he is, just about to for a point, out to Ian Barry Murphy, Ian off his left shoulder, looks to be going to the right and it is in the sky right. Shot for out taken. Stephen O'Sullivan there on his own. Locked, brilliantly locked down by Luke Casey over there on the far side. Luke putting in some huge tackles there to try and win that. Just brilliant stuff from Luke there, disrupting the play and not letting him to get away with that. It's like puck out. And it looks like the ref is coming in, he's going to have the ball here again. Uh, a lot of players now, James, uh, in you know, the next few minutes there. Jack Murphy in over that ball. Still Jack Murphy. Jack seems to be pushed off it there very easily. There's John Casey out on the sideline here. Drives it long, looking to land it in. Adam Murphy inside there. He is Barry Murphy. Comes away with the ball up to Keeney Fury. Keeney up the left hand side there, looking for Ian Barry Murphy out over by the sideline. Ian gets it up in his hurley, has a look at the post, thinks about it, puts it low into the corner, looking for Sean O'Sullivan inside the corner. One there by the Inescala, number 23. Low ball out to the centre back, Don Callan, over the sideline. Long ball up the line. David Thompson going back, looking for it. David wins it. 
puts a low ball up to Ian Barry Murphy on the 45 yard line. Ian with a bit of time drives it in. He's looking for Mark Rufflin inside on the 21. It goes over his head. Aaron O'Sullivan is in there. And Aaron with a shot to push. And it on, uh, had a push on Sean McLaughlin's a free out through in the scanner. Soft enough for free out, but I suppose it was when Ian Barry Murphy was in the midst today. I think, um, you know, lead, leading the game. Phenomenal. Phenomenal player in the Habulot side. But he's uh, as a, arguably a uh, man of the match at the moment for Habulot. Free taken here by Dean Scanner, goalkeeper. Jack Murphy under it, David Thompson under it, stolen. Comes to Keeney Fury. Keeney trying to come out, has a look. Puts the ball over in front of Aaron O'Sullivan. Lovely ball. Aaron doesn't hold the ball. He's still there on it. He's still with it. Um, ball is coming out to the side. Aaron is trying to kick it out for himself. He's still bringing it out. He gets it up. He's turning. He's looking to go towards goal. Aaron still has it. He's hooked. Puts it low across. Put out by the Mascara. Centre back. Number 25 there is in front of it. Is down in front of it. Barry Murphy in in the middle of the field now. Came up with the ball. How did he get that up into his hand? Keeney Fury ball into Luke Casey inside on the 21. Luke looking for the ball, trying to get it up. Referee gives a free out. A free out. Said he was holding. Nine minutes gone in the first half of extra time and in Iscara leading by 117 to 116. Nothing in this game, Joe. Nothing in this game, you know. I think we have 60 minutes the last day, 60 minutes earlier on. We're now, you know, 140 minutes into a game and there's still nothing between the sides, Harley. Evan Cunningham with the free, dropping it in on the uh, ball of 51 1 there by John Casey. Ball over the shoulder. That looks to be gone wide. It is gone to the left and gone wide. Jack Murphy out here on the sideline looking for the fast puck. Dropping it down. And Ian Barry Murphy here on the ball trying to catch it. Won by the Nascara number 20. Ball is dropping in again. That dropping over. It's gone over the bat. It's moved by the number 20 for in the Scala. Brian Lowney who came on just towards the end of the game. Fast puck out taken by Tig. Finds Luke Casey over on the far sideline. Luke trying to get the ball up. Has it in his hand. Takes a look at the post. Half locked down. Dropping in front of the goalkeeper. Evan Cunningham trying to get it away. Number seven there, Tommy Buckley. Still not getting it away. Favour here is Orno O'Connell out by the sideline. Skips past two in the Scaraman. Still going, still looking. Half locked down. And it's a free. It's a free. A referee a judge is a free. Just on the 21 to the right of the goal. And this is a chance to level the game again with the game going into. If there's 11 minutes gone in the first half of extra time. Okay, this will be the final uh, action of the first half in extra time here. Mark Ruffin looking to put one point between them again. As Orla Khan looks for a replacement early here. Aidan Healy would off the end of the first half. Aidan had a bit of an injury coming into the game, so maybe it wasn't surprising he didn't last the full game. Mark Ruffin takes a shot. Is it gone to the right? It is gone to the right. And it's gone right. 116, half time of extra time here now. So I think they'll just switch over here. I don't think there'll be any coming into the benches here. They're going to come in. So we're just ready to start the second half of extra time here. Two points in this. Two points in this. As Jack Murphy wins the first ball, puts it in front, looking for Luke, Luke Casey, cut out by the Nascara wing back. Nascaraman on the ball here. Uh, push in the back there, and a free in to. Huh? Or must fold there, wouldn't he? Looked like he was fouled, but I didn't see it down there. Two point game here in Escala winning 118 to 116. We 
party filming me back into the, into the freezer. Party is back in. Who's gone off there? Dylan O'Sullivan going through. Dylan is going through. He's into the 21. He's straight in front of the goal. He's looking for a goal. Blocked down by Ian Barry Murphy out for a 65. A very important block down there for the Aiden. The clash of players there in the middle between uh, uh, Hogan and David Thompson. Uh, the, the Do we know who's gonna ask? Do we know who's gonna ask our team there? Is Kieran Thompson still out there? He is. Ian Barry Murphy. Ian is still out in the middle of the field, shooting away there. Pat so Murphy went into midfield, James Lane is going out to the wing forward position. Um, is, is that's that's uh, Mark O'Flynn, is Mark O'Flynn out there? I don't see Mark O'Flynn out there, yellow helmet. Yeah, I don't see Mark, it looks like Mark is going to have party to his hand for Mark O'Flynn. So, free in here, our 65 car in the scala, right in centre. Join right, puts it over the bar. It's a 3 point game now again, with uh, two minutes of the second period of extra time. Join right, there's a mighty game, it must be 10 plus points today, so far. Scala come over the ball again. Seem to have plenty of time, plenty of space. Hand pass across the cut out by James Lane. James back inside his own 45. Finds Luke Casey on the 65. Luke gets it into his hand. He's going through. Being dispossessed there by John Casey. And pass to number 28. Three near the ball lands. Adam Murphy wins it. And it's a three back. I think it was a late tackle there by Luke Casey. He was going to slide into Yeah, Luke went in for the hook and he slid in and he caught him in the, in the, in the trailing, so it's probably going to be a looking for Luke here, but I don't need to be uh, I don't need to be uh, I'm in, himself as well. I'm in trouble here with my battery anyway, Joe. It's flashing at me to tell me that we're we're in big trouble. Is up for it. Owen O'Connor looking for it. Party Toomey looking for it. Join right has it. Free in hand. Free in. So Owen O'Connor is going to hit this one. So Owen is trying to bring it back to three points. Strikes it low, strikes it hard, and strikes it over the bar. Back to a three-point game. More knock on with the free for a uh, bullet. Uh, four and a half minutes of injury, a uh, second half of injury time played here, so five minutes to go. Now a bullet need a monumental finish here. Across the square, Ty Bradley reads it well, comes out to the 21, drives it long, looking for Ian Barry Murphy down there. 
So you can throw the ball in again. Take it off there, just hold on to the camera there now. Right. Lift up the back of yeah. This guy we're looking for a free there, alright, but uh, didn't uh, did you realise I'd say it's only a throwing ball again. Battery ran dead there, so it's a bit uh, working off mobile phone here. It's a bit unsteady. As the Inascar player receives attention. 45 yards out from his own goal, and looks like it's going to be a throw in by the ref. Oh, he's given the free, I think. He's given the free out, is he? Yeah, he's to get the throw in, right, going to take this from his own 45 yard line. With Inascar leading by three points, it's 120 to 117. Drives it long, landing up at the 21. Kieran Thompson goes up for it. And the Scarra man misses the ball there. Jack Murphy tries to kick it out for himself. Kieran Thompson over that ball again. Loose ball comes out to Jack Murphy. Jack only drives it up to join right on the 65. Sean O'Sullivan over him. So is James Lane. James Lane picks it up. James low pass to Jack Murphy. Jack looks, swivels. Drives it in long, looking for Ian Barry Murphy and Luke Casey inside there. Won there by number 23, Farrell Nascara. Back to his goalkeeper, Evan Cunningham. Evan Cunningham long, out into the middle of the field. Two in Nascara in there. One of them, number 28. Puts it up, sees again. Two more in Nascara in here. Chance of a shot. Doesn't strike properly. Going to drop short in... Adam Murphy, do, oh, and the Scarlet Man in here trying to get it. It's a free out. The referee gives a free out. There's a bit of scuffle on the ground there. David Thompson knows it. David Thompson takes, goes long. One there again by the Scarlet Man. Number 15, Dylan O'Sullivan doesn't hold on to it. Alan Hogan in there trying to get it, trying to win it out. Saw Sean O'Sullivan. In the Scaraman comes out with the ball, gives a hand pass, stolen by James Lane. James looks down into the corner, trying to find Luke Casey down in the corner. Luke and Ian together, Luke is running, Luke is going to a goal. Looking for a goal, I do need a goal, but um, he's taken out of the game there. There's a goal chance if it was football, it was a straight black card. I don't know what the ref is going to say to this guy here. He's limping over, he's looking for a bit of sympathy from the ref. Yeah, he's claiming, I think, that Luke jumped into him, but uh, center back there. Um, uh, Don Locallan. Don Locallan. I'm um, Sophia Locard anyway, but I have a Ian going to strike this, but I'd say the Scar are going to line the, the post. Nine minutes gone in the second half. Ian tells Paulie to go in for a rebound in case there's one. Looks like he's going to go for goal here. Another card for the Scaraman there for, for chatting. Number 20, Brian Lowry. Just picked up another yellow card. Three points behind. Player coach, Ian Barry Murphy. Well saved by Evan Cunningham, the keeper who tries to come over the ball. Stolen there, James Lane in around that. Aaron O'Sullivan in around it as the, the Scaraman comes away with it. Drives it long here in the middle of the, field, middle of the field, David Thompson. Ball stolen from him. One inside there. Number 24 is taking an awful lot of steps with it. Back to Dylan Sullivan. Dylan Sullivan straight between the posts. Is it? It is. It's a four-point lead for Nascara, and I think that's the game now, Joe. That's only it. There's 20, 20 and a half minutes gone, and I'll both have to get a goal to get into it. Oral O'Connell on the ball. Game is on again. Oral O'Connell drives it in, looking for Luke Casey inside. Battered out, number 14 there. Jank. 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 
Uh, Arnold Sullivan over there on the sideline, looking to drive it in, landing in high. Paddy Toomey's in there, so is Ian Barry Murphy. Inascara again coming out with it. It's all over. Inascara are the champions, winning on a scoreline of Inascara 121, Ahabolog 117. What a fantastic game of hurling, Joe. Two, two, two fantastic games, plus extra time, so there we go. Ahab will we'll hardly uh, look for the look for a replay for that half the 16th man, I suppose. Probably not, I'd no, imagine. I'd imagine he's not. He's down the line and he's smiling and he's, uh, he's saying well done and congratulating the Scarra lads. So. so after two fantastic games, Inascara winning by four points in the end at, after extra time in the second game. So we leave you here in Clodagh.